A letter grade, please. He didn't pass. Now that's. Didn't pass. I, I just want to know, Skip. What are we? Are we putting this on Odell? Are we blaming because because Odell? You know, Odell. Ooh, Odell was there, and Baker become everybody. I've heard people that should know better mm. say the pressure for Baker to throw the ball to Odell. So what was that yesterday? Mm. No Odell in sight. Mm. Odell announced news. He about to be a father. He happy. Mm. Ain't bothering nobody. Mm. But let me guess. It's his shoulder. It's his knee. It's his foot. His foot. Yeah, foot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Skip, this is this is awful. Now they're very fortunate that they played the Lions because Tim Boyle, Tim mm -hmm. Boyle, mm -hmm. almost beat. They ran the ball 36 rushes for 184 yards, 5.1. They got Nick Chubb back doing Nick Chubb type mm -hmm. things. And Baker Mayfield was barely 50%. Mm. Barely 50 with two picks. Now, I want to know who's responsible for this now that you remove the excuse machine, mm. which is Odell. That narrative that Odell was the cause because Baker. You know why people are so upset? Mm. Because they want to make Baker elite. If you look at Baker Mayfield as an average quarterback, you mm -hmm. would nearly be as upset. Mm. I'm not upset when he plays bad because I see him for what he is. Mm. It's the other people that try to make Baker elite. He's a first-round pick. Oh, we went to Oklahoma, and Baker, he's the pie popper. He's like, woo woo, mm. And everybody came marching in attention. Yep. All I know is what I see. Mm. Now, I kept telling you, he's the third best quarterback in that draft. Mm. He's not good as Lamar. He's not good as Josh Allen. Even no, though well, you, you kept telling me Sam Darnold was the best quarterback in that draft. Well, really? He might, he, hey, really? You know what, Skip? Yikes. He might, he might be a dressed up Sam Darnold. Mm. He might be a dressed up Sam Darnold. Don't, mm. He's not it, Skip. Mm. Now, Cleveland can do what they want to do. They can extend him if they want to, mm. but you're not winning with that guy. Mm. He's Average mm. with a running game like that, mm. there's no way you're supposed to be barely 50%. There's no way he's saying one. So that's Jarvis. Jarvis is his favorite receiver. Mm. He's sailing Jarvis left and right. Mm. You know it, and I know it, mm. and a lot of other people know it and don't want to admit it. Mm. Baker Mayfield is an average quarterback. Mm. There's nothing elite about Baker. Okay. Interesting. Okay, my turn for a letter grade, uh, and I have a question for you. Who won this game? Help me out. Oh, you won. Brett so, won. Did he flunk and they won? Yeah, he, he, he didn't pass. You, well, well, I guess a D is passing. A D is passing? Hey, so you is? gave him a D? Hey, yeah, I gave him a D. Well, I got to at least give him a C because he, he did play and he did win. Am I right? 15 to 20, two interceptions? Yeah. He played Tim, and he won. Tim Boyle? C. How Tim can you Boyle? give him lower than a C? Tim Boyle? Did he do what needed to get done? No, 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 no. Nick oh. Chubb did. The running oh, game did. Okay. He didn't do nothing. He All was right. terrible. Is, and you know he was terrible. Is Cleveland now six and five. Yep. And Cleveland is in the cellar in that division, but would you believe Cleveland's only a game and a half out of first place, which is now owned by the Baltimore Ravens, uh, who survived without their starter so, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're and, seven and, and three now to six and five Cleveland. But guess what's coming up? Next Sunday night at Baltimore, Baker's at Baltimore. And I, I hate to bring this up, but do you realize Baker's had three huge games in his career against yeah. the Ravens? Three big, he's averaging about 350 yards passing in those three games. Yeah. So that's coming up at Baltimore. Then it's bye week, and maybe they can get a little healthier, uh, starting with him. And then guess who visits Baltimore? So it goes at Baltimore by Baltimore. So we're about to find out what the Cleveland Browns are made of, right? Catch well, hails all okay, through. We'll see what is about to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Right now, Fox Bet says Baltimore at Baltimore is all of a three and a half point favorite over the average Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Really? Three and a half? Yeah. You'd, you'd think it'd be nine and a half or ten. Why? Right? Well, according to you, he's trash. You got him in the Super Bowl. Why would why? you be an underdog? Yeah. Why would you even, uh, anybody that's in the underdog? Is okay, what? so it rained the whole game yesterday, and they said the winds were gusting and... The other team played in that help, weather? Help me out. Well, yeah. Did you see what the other quarterback did? <laughs> Tim yeah. Boyle. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't tell who was who. Well, I could really couldn't tell other than the uniform. Okay, help me out here. Uh, his favorite deep threat, Baker Mayfield's, is Donovan Peoples-Jones. Did he play yesterday? Help oh, me out. I know he was inactive. He's hurt. How about Anthony Schwartz, the kid from Auburn who can just flat out fly? Yeah. 4 3 40 kid who's gotten yeah. deep several times this year. Did yeah. he play yesterday? No. No, he didn't. So Baker had no deep speed, and Jarvis is beat all to hell. And, again, the reason Baker, I believe, didn't talk to the media is he's just tired of talking and doesn't no, want not. any more criticism about your making excuses. He gets asked about his injury. 
injuries. He's got a torn labrum in his left shoulder. He's got a fracture above the labrum in his left shoulder. He just wrecked his knee and has a sprained knee and should not have played yesterday. And he had a foot injury that also has kept him out of practice for two weeks. So he hasn't practiced in two weeks. So he's tell. just trying to hang on for dear life. And he sucked it up and went out and played. Should he have played yesterday? My gut feeling is a big no. But he did play and they did win. Yeah, he was sticking it up before all these injuries besieged him. Okay. So don't pretend, don't pretend, don't pretend like he was on this cat this this epic arc. Because he wasn't. Mm. He's been bad all season. He's alone. Mm. But you want to go back, I, I, but I know what you'll do. You'll go back and talk about the last 11 games last year. Well, what happened? Had, did, should we just destroy those? Just sweep them under your little carpet over so there? What did he what get? What should we do what did, last year? What did, what, did he he get, he do? what did he get for that? Mm. He got bounced from the playoffs. No, he won a playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mike Tomlin at Pittsburgh. He did that. He did that. Yeah, that's pretty great, so, I would say. So, right? so, so did that, does huh. that carry you over into the new year? Huh, interesting. In his rookie year against Baltimore, he threw for 376 yards and three touchdowns. Oh, my And then goodness. there's a big win in 2019 at Baltimore. They won 40 to 25, and he threw for 342 and a touchdown. Uh -huh. And then last year, it was the great comeback by Lamar. He literally came back out of the Yes, yes. And in that game, Baker brought them back. They were down 34 to 20. He bought them all the way back to tie at 42 by throwing for 343 whoa, 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 whoa. yards and two more touchdowns. I, uh, but he's average, oh, average, oh, average, average about, about. against the Baltimore Ravens defense. Baker Mayfield just did it and let, did let it question. and did let it let again. Me ask you whoa. In the process of him coming back from 34 to oh, 20, yeah. can you tell the people at home where Lamar Jackson was at that time? Well, he was in the locker room. So yeah. Uh -huh. He rose from the dead and so came they, back. So they had Marty McSorley. He was the defending MVP of the league. That's how great he so is. That means, so that means that means uh, Baker Mayfield is not allowed to beat the reigning uh, mm. MVP? Did you call it before Lamar was drafted? Did you say he should have gone first in the draft? No, I didn't no, hear no. you I, say no, that. No, I didn't say okay. I, No, I said he should be a first-round pick, mm. and I said he should be a quarterback. No, I didn't say he should be the number one overall pick. Okay. But you don't do what he did in college and be a bum. Yeah. All I know is I'm going to repeat what I've said about Baker Mayfield. My biggest issue with him is that he and his team, whoever advises him, has allowed him to do more and more and more both progressive and Nissan Heisman house commercials. So he's got Baker Mayfield's house commercials, progressive, and he's got Heisman house commercials in which he is the star of those. With all those former Heisman winners, you could go any direction you want and you keep focusing on Baker Mayfield. What? I don't know what causes it, but what? if I were on his team, I would have advised against doing any more progressive this year because the target gets painted bigger and bigger on his back. And he's good in them, but he's kind of a show off and he's acting and overacting. And every weekend we get a new progressive commercial. It's the Halloween one. It's the leave the seat down or I'm sorry, leave the seat up one. And it's the the neighbors one. And it's the house sitter. One. It's like they're relentless. Mm -hmm. They drive me crazy. I get sick and tired of seeing Baker's mug on TV. And all day Saturday, I have to see it in the Heisman house. Yeah, yeah. OK, it's no good. It's wrong. It's what's inspiring the hate in you of Baker. No, I got no hate. No, yeah. I, I, I just see him for what he is. Mm. I see an average quarterback. Yeah. I don't see elite. OK, but so I just I'm going to say once again, last year, he was so average that after Odell got hurt at Cincinnati, he went on a tear for 11 games, not two games or three, 11 games. They went eight and three, whoa, whoa. and he was graded by Pro Football Focus, the fourth best quarterback in football over those last 11 games, which included a win at Pittsburgh in a yeah. playoff game. But he's trash. Yeah. He's garbage. Yeah. Get him out of my sight. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out mm. how does what one does last year equate to what he's doing and how he's playing this year. Beat okay. all the hell. Oh, he now nah, he beat, beat all the hell. Well, he is. He shouldn't have been so playing. So why, why didn't he talk? I guess he didn't wake up feeling dangerous. I guess not. Uh huh. He a front runner. Mm. I told you when he was in college, he was a front runner. Okay. Well, as long as he's winning, he's doing windmills. How he's are you not a front runner if you won and you won't talk? If he lost to Detroit, I'd, I'd say if I play, you got me. If I play like that, I ain't talking. Really? I ain't talk, talking. About, Did that's you him. win? That's yeah. a, hold on. You told me that's an old, that's an old 91 team. With a, with a quarterback I had never heard of. Mm. You had never heard of. No, and I told it, you the Detroit Pistons are the one you should be ashamed of. No, 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 no. That's no, the no. team, the Detroit team. The, yeah. They beat a team that hadn't won a game, yeah. and they got a quarterback, you nor I, and if, I don't even know if the fans in Detroit have ever heard of him.
Mm -hmm. And it took all they could to scrape to get a victory. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to talk about. Mm -hmm. He has so much to talk about. Oh, I'm beat. I'm beat up. This is the worst I felt. I ain't been never beat, beat, beat up so bad in my career. Nobody tried to hear that. Well, he got ridiculed and condemned by you last week for acknowledging in an interview, yeah, I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm beat so up. So is everybody he else. Said, Nobody wants to hear it. It's called the NFL. Yeah. It's called tackle football. It's called collision football. So if you've been playing for 11 weeks, everybody is hurt. Mm -hmm. It's not unique to Baker Mayfield, mm. but what about all the other quarterbacks that's going out there week in and week out and don't make excuses? I and don't think anybody's as beat up as he is and still not, playing because most I, of them wouldn't have played. Well, you know what, Skip Bayless? You know I can feel how beat up he is. I'm sure somebody else beat up just as bad. Who? Name Doesn't one. matter. I don't know. And I, I know he's not very good. Mm. That's what I know. Name mm. one that's the worst. Okay, so now he's going through what Dak went through back in 2019. He ain't Dak. He ain't Dak. Okay. Well, he ain't I'm going to be sure. he, I, I'm I, I not sure can't. Dak is Dak. Dak is fine. Yeah. Oh, is he Dak fine? is fine. That's not what you said uh, to, uh, about 15 minutes ago. Dak had a bad game. Mm. Well, he's had two out of three terrible games. Yeah. So he's going through it because they will not give him his extension, right? They won't well, resign. What they got to do? Okay. What did that do? Because you start to press, and then you start to say, well, why should I die for the cause? Should I whoa, not play? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what you said. That's I not did what, say it. That's not what you and others have said on this network. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention contract extension. You made it about Odell. So now it's the contract extension and not Odell? Mm.